In this video, I'm going to be talking through one of my favorite plays out of Bunch Tight End. I think Bunch Tight End is one of the most underrated offenses in Madden 23. And if you want to learn how I like to run this formation, I would really encourage you to join uh, my Patreon. Bunch Tight End is a great formation this year. One of the things that I think people are sleeping on is the fact that you can actually mix Bunch Tight End in with like Trips Tight End and Bunch and Tight out of the Detroit playbook. Um, so if you want to do that, this is a great formation to be in. It's going to help you beat man and zone. Um, but the other thing is, if you use the run-heavy playbook, you can actually get this play uh, that I think is one of the best plays in the game, uh, tight in corner. Uh, I think tight in corner is super underrated this year. There's a lot you can do with this play. And, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be going over today. Tight in corner, one of my favorite setups. Um, and literally the play is such a versatile play. You can quick snap it. You can have some more detailed setups. You have a lot of options with this play. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on the field again. I'm in the run heavy playbook today. And if you want to get my full gun bunch tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description below. So the way that we're going to run this play um, is, is basically this. We're going to streak our outside bunch receiver. We're going to uh, basically trail, or um, I'm sorry, in route our tight end, and we're going to wheel our running back. So as you can see here, this is what the player looks like. Now you notice that I have my bunch to the short side of the field. That is going to make it much easier to flood zone coverages. And so basically every zone coverage in the game is going to struggle to defend that corner route to the left side. So again, real simple setup. We're just doing this right here, and then we're streaking this solo or this outside bunch receiver. So again, you'll see, cover four, cover three, you're gonna have easy reads for your offense. Now, uh, what makes this so good is its ability to attack man coverage in a variety of different ways, and this is why this is one of my favorite plays. You're gonna see here against man-to-man -man that the circle receiver is going to just be a really consistent beater uh, of man coverage. Now, uh, Levante David made a great play on the ball, but typically you're gonna see that this this uh, post is super effective. Just passing that inside. I don't know why Levante David's able to, to uh, defend that. He's got to have medium route KO. Um, we'll go over it one more time. Uh, but anyway, what you'll see here again, you see how he's just cooking him on the cut. And there you see we're able to finally actually hold on to the football. So you have that little nice, that nice beater right over the middle. Now you also, you can drag the tight end as well. You don't have to put him on an in route. Um, against zone, it's probably better he's on an in route. Against man, it's probably better he's on a drag. Um, but what you see here is, again, you see how consistent the circle receiver is against man to man. Now if we go to zone, I'm going to go to cover three. And I want to show you something rather interesting against zone coverage. This running back wheel is one of the best uh, routes in the game for beating zone late in the play. As you see right there, if we want to attack zone deep down the sideline, that zone coverage is going to struggle because of this running back wheel. So again, this time I'm going to press my coverage uh, to try to make it play a little bit more fluid. And you're going to see here again that running back wheel. And if I have time, you see circles coming open over the middle of the field. Now, he's not just coming open over the middle of the field. I'll show you something else with this that makes this really good. Now, you do have to understand their user is probably going to be in the middle of the field. So that's something that's important. Um, but what you're going to see here is I can actually throw that right in that area. The reason why is because the streak on the left side is going to be something that can actually in influence the middle third defender out of any kind of cover three. So here I'm going to just baseline press it. Most people are going to run cover three like this. And you're going to see here again, if you watch that inside third safety, he's never going to play that ball. Um, and I have my match coverage set to, or my zone coverage set to match, and we're still able to consistently attack uh, with this play. So we have a lot of really good reads, specifically against man and zone. Um, now what's also really good is if they blitz you quick out of a pressure look, you can throw this tight end drag, and I'm telling you right now, it's almost always open. Because generally speaking, if they're going to send heat, they are going to fly out here to the right side on the running back. And then, especially if you're at tight end, has short and elite, he's going to cook right in the middle right here for an easy, quick little 5, 10 yards against any defense in the game. 
Now the last zone coverage I want to go over is cover two because I do think cover two actually is pretty decent. Um, and what you'll see here is we want to take our tight end drag across the field. Our tight end drag is a great little check down that's going to force them to have to have some variation, uh, some variation of hard flats over the middle. If they don't have hard flats, we can throw our running back and we can throw. Um, you can see I can throw my running back right there. I can also throw my drag when he gets across. And we know how good broken tackles are in this game. Being disciplined and taking your check down is one of the hallmarks of any good man player. And it's no different with this play. So now let's say that they, you know, maybe they double flat to try to take this away. You know, so we're going to get double flat. So this is going to mean the user has to go with the uh, tight or the, the deep or the deep curl. And then this corner route is just deep enough to get over the top of the cloud on the short side of the field. Now, if we were to the wide side of the field, it'd be a little better against cover two, but it would be much worse against cover three, cover four. So anyways, you see how consistent this is. Last thing I'm gonna show you is man coverage. Let's say that they're doing a good job of lurking in the middle of the field. You can utilize this corner round on the left side. Um, he will. He's one of the better reads uh, in the game for this corner route. So if you have short and elite, if you have slotomatic, whatever, um, slotomatic actually did terrible right there. But short and elite will light up on this. And you'll see, you see how he got that light up and then he cooked him. That's what we're basically looking for. This corner route has been really good all year long against man to man. Basically just cut when it cuts to the outside. You'll see here again, pass lead that left side. And Godwin is kind of selling me in this video, but you'll see right here again, I'll show it to you. This has been one of the most consistent reads all year long uh, for attacking man to man coverage. The streak is a little bit problematic. Um, but generally speaking, there you see, and again, I'm getting shedded by three man rush. He's standing wide open over the top. Um, you know, so anyways, the idea here is if the streak, um, doesn't get in the way, this is going to be fine. Now, again, if they're going to play man coverage, your number one read is your running back quick, then your tight end, then your post, then your corner route. And you see right there with the high ball up and out, the corner routes finally able to get consistent separation. So that is tight end quarter out of bunch tight end, at least one setup. I've got a ton of them in the ebook. If you want to check out my full bunch tight end offensive ebook, I would really encourage you to check it out. The link is going to be in the description below. You can get the full offensive ebook um, by joining our Patreon for just $10. It'll get you access to this ebook and also all of my other Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks. So if you want to check that out, you get everything for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description. Head down there and sign up for the Patreon uh, to check out the rest of the Bunch Tight End Offense.